What's good guys? Today you join me in the beautiful seaside town of Whitby and I've got right here the Sony A6400 and the Viltrox 75 f1.2. This is the first time that I'm going to get out and shoot with this lens and I can't wait to see what it's all about. So we're going to get onto the streets, do a little POV and see what kind of results we can get from this thing. All right, we've got a real nice shot right here. Got some foreground at the bottom of the frame and we've got the lighthouse right there. That looks pretty spectacular right there. Oh, this is another good one here, right? Yeah, let's get this in landscape actually. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. This is also quite nice up here. This is a really good viewing spot. We've got this boat down here. That looks kind of nice. Then we've got the abbey right there. Okay, this is absolutely absolutely brilliant all right let's get a center focusing point right there keep it f12 for this shot ooh, 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 that's a little bit tasty mate so following that frame there we've now got this one which is also brilliant because we've got this tree here and we can use that as a bit of a foreground so i'm in the center focusing point keeping the bridge in the middle this is really good actually in landscape and there's actually a boat coming through so if I just give it a moment i'll be able to get that right in the middle of the frame as well and there we go, we got it. The boat right in the middle of the frame. Oh, that, that frame just speaks for itself. That is brilliant. I haven't done photography in a couple of weeks and I'm just getting warmed up back into the groove of things. But this lens is making it incredibly easy. I'm lost. I'm gonna go that way. No, I'm gonna go that way. This is a real nice frame right here. These two people just chilling out. Oh, that's really cool in landscape. Look at that. Another great landscape shot right here of these two people just looking out at the view. Oh, these are the kind of frames I like. That is stunning. That is really nice. I'm going to keep walking, keep shooting, get these two people right here with the background, face focus picked up, and that right there is top notch. We've got some real nice framing in this shot here, showing at f2.8, 1 1,000th of a second, ISO 100. Oh, that is, that is exquisite. I spotted a real nice composition right here. So I'm gonna try and get it really quickly. I'm gonna keep this lovely couple to the right of frame. The beautiful background right there. It's one of my favorite photographs today. Look at that. That is true love right there. That's so sweet. So now I'm in the prime territory to do some street photography. What I'm gonna do is just walk slow. Walk around Whitby, maybe do a couple of circuits and just keep my eyes peeled for interesting subjects. Try and spot different composites and just take a nice slow approach of it. No point of rushing things, just take your time. I'm gonna get a photograph of this gentleman right here. Let's see if the focus will pick up. Oh, I'm getting eye focus from all the way back here. That's kind of impressive, you know. I'm gonna add some warmer tones, I think, to that photograph in post, but I do like the framing on that. Oh, we're gonna get a photograph of the gentleman again, this time keeping it to the right of frame, but we have some foreground in play with all his merchandise. Interesting face, a lot of expression. Kind of like it. I think I nailed that photograph of the gentleman skimming stones. It doesn't matter how old you are, skimming stones is always a lot of fun. And I think that photograph just shows that. Um, speaking of a nice photograph, down here we got this boat. Right, let's get the foot of the boat. And there's my foot of the boat. I completely forgot to elaborate on the filter dilemma that I've got with the Viltrox. So as this is an f1.2 lens, this lets in a lot of light. So if you're at f1.2, 1 4,000th of a second shutter speed and the lowest ISO 100 in direct sunlight, all your photographs are gonna be overexposed because it lets in that much light. So you're gonna have to potentially put an ND filter on the front, which is why I'm glad it's overcast today because I'm getting away with it in a lot of situations, but I haven't got a step down ring to 77 mil because I've left it at home. So that's why I'm glad it's cloudy because I could still take photographs of F1 too, just. That's such an interesting position to be in. <laughs> with all your settings at the maximum minimum, sometimes your photograph is still gonna be overexposed. That's how bonkers this lens is. Really cool boat here, and I think if I bring the camera a little bit higher up, keep the boat to the lower part of the frame, I'll be able to get a real nice shot like that of it. Ooh, that does look a little bit nice. 
I just got a really lovely photograph of a family there. I've got the two parents on the left and the right, the harbour in the background, the boat on the right, and then I've got the child running in the middle of his parents with a blue shirt on, really nice vibrant colour. And that is just a perfect frame. I love that frame. I absolutely love this frame here so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the red building keeping it on the left part of the frame and then we're just going to let the leading lines do the rest tap on screen to focus on the red building and then we've got that shot right oh look how good that looks come on that looks so good wow, look at all the boats that are out there look at that oh that makes for a nice landscape shot surprisingly that looks pretty cool Wait, there's people underneath there, look. Can you actually get underneath there? Oh, that's how people do it. I've always wanted to get a photo from down there. Right, bear that in mind, we're gonna do that soon. Get a photograph of this woman here who is dressed up as a witch. Got the pointy hat. I think she's dressed up as a witch. I hopefully haven't just insulted her fashion choice for the day. I'm gonna try and get a photograph of this gentleman who has an amazing beard. And got the focus, F12. Gonna get a photograph of this gentleman right here who is just leaning up against whatever that building thing. And I think I got a couple of good photographs at F12. One thing I've got to say about this lens, it is sharp, it is incredibly sharp. I am amazed. We can jump in here, get a photo of the gentleman there. Oh, that was a quick grab and go when I grabbed it. Brilliant shot right here, this gentleman, at F12, 14,000 a second, ISO 100. And what I'm going to do is take it again, but this time landscape, keeping it to the left of frame. Pff, look what it does to the background. Like, that is actually bonkers what the background is doing. It is just gone. Oh, I think I nailed that shot of that gentleman right there. I was just being super quiet, pretending I was taking a photo of the background, and he, I just smiled at him as he walked past me. Didn't say anything, but look at his outfit. It looks right cool. Oh, take that. That's a nice shot of him. What I'm doing here is I'm pretending I'm taking a photograph of the landscape, which I am, but then I'm bringing the camera over to take a photograph of these two gents here who are wearing tweed hats, which are very snazzy. See if I can get a portrait shot of just the one gentleman on his own keep him to the left of frame sorry the right of frame oh i nailed that i really did nail that gentleman here looking through binoculars we can get whitby in the background which might look pretty cool well you can't see it it's f12 but uh, i think it just is something special this f12 i need to compare this lens to the 56 f14 as well actually we can now get nice and center with them put them nice and center with the frame just like so oh that has got something to it that i like jump in behind these people and get this lovely landscape shot keeping them to the left of frame and then we're getting all that in the background which just looks impeccable I have always wondered how people got photographs underneath this part of the bridge. Never realised you could just access it with that ladder. Never realised. I've, I've been here, I don't even know how many times, dozens of times, and never knew that. Bring it up, I reckon, to about our F 6.3. Drop the shutter speed to about 1, 1 25th for a second. Bring up the ISO to about 500. And then we'll get that frame there. Oh, that's a really cool photograph of that gentleman fishing right there. That is a really cool frame. I love that because we've got the pillars framing up our subject. And that looks really cool. Oh, this is cool. This is a really cool shot. I think I just nailed it. I think I just got it. That's a pretty cool composition. Oh, man, this guy's got a fish. Getting some really cool detail shots up here of the fisherman. This is kind of a unique perspective. So I'm trying to focus on their arms and also using a single focusing point so I can put the focus exactly where I want it to be. But I think I've got a good few shots there. Just going to let these people walk towards us. 
pretend we're taking a photo of the landscape and we might just take a photo of them well this is gonna be a really cool frame this person with a hood up against that backdrop yeah that was brilliant we got a trio here oh that's a nice photograph of that trio i approve of that photograph are you gonna get that yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. But wait there, I did get one photograph. I don't know how the focus is though. Oh, I think I nailed it. All right, I think I got one shot before she shooed it away. This is the very first time I've ever been able to get a photograph of this archway with nobody in the frame. It looks brilliant. And on that note, that is where I'm going to be leaving today's POV with the Viltrox 75 F12. This lens is just something else. I have fallen in love and i can't wait to do a review on it i can't wait to do more povs all that to come but what we should do now is head back home get out of this rain and have a look through the hashtag curtis Pavley to see what you guys have been creating so the first photograph we're gonna have a look at today is this one right here in the city center of leeds by jack photos i really like this nice center shot and i like the contrast between the highlights and the shadows that looks really cool the next shot we're gonna have a look at is this one right here by stills by z real nice framing on this really creative use of foreground to frame our subjects as well so that's pretty cool right there our next photograph today is courtesy of kev with this amazing black and white shot of this person jumping in to the water big leap of faith right there and that is just such a cool photograph we've got this amazing ferrari 488 italia by cytography absolutely beautiful frame i love the use of foreground there love that shot right there oh nice porsche as well ferrari takes the cake for me though i love it we've got some rally photos i was at a rally very recently in dolby these ones by black raven photos really nice shots right here i love the use of the collage you've got right here and these are some action shots i love that you got motion blur in that middle one it looks amazing especially when it's drifting i really do vibe this shot here by paul this is a really nice simple clean frame of a gentleman just looking out of a window such a simple subject doing such a simple every a kind of thing and it just looks amazing on this photograph well captured so we're gonna have a look at a couple more photographs today we've got this one by with alias this is a beautiful street in italy i love the contrast between the shadows to the highlights at the top and just look at the vibe that is an amazing vibe and the color grading you've put on this photograph tip top and our final photograph we're gonna have a look at today is this one by cloud.086 I really like the use of foreground with this shot, the mountains in the background and this church tower right here in the centre of the frame. Really nicely composed shot and I love as well the editing that you've done in this frame. A massive shout out to everyone continuing to use the hashtag Curtis Pavley over on Instagram and that is where I'm going to be leaving today's POV with the 75mm f12. Possibly my new favourite prime lens for APS-C cameras. It is just, as you can tell, the results are bonkers and I can't wait to do more POVs with it. Can't wait to do the review for it and I might need to do a head to head with it against the 56 f14 but all that to come in the future if you did like today's video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're not already and maybe turn on the bell icon so you're notified for whenever i release a new video but until next time create explore and inspire and i'll see you in the next one